What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to explore all the different tonal possibilities from my pedal board. So I'll go through each pedal first real quick on its own just so we can see how they all sound. And then I'll show you some of my favorite pedal combinations that give me some of my best tones. Now for this demo, I'm using my Paul Reed Smith Hollow Body 2 going right into my pedal board. And then that is plugged right into my Benson Nathaniel Jr. amp, mic'd up with an Austrian Audio OC818 mic going right into Ableton 10. So first up is the Electro Harmonics Pitch Fork. Now this is a great pedal. You can do three octaves up or down plus any interval up or down from whatever note that you're playing. Uh, my favorite way to use this is kind of adding a lower octave to really fatten up my sound. Um, so maybe I'm playing a pentatonic riff. Then add that on, get that lower octave in there. So really cool way to fatten up your sound there. Now next, moving on to the Three Leaf Audio Proton. This is a really great funky uh, envelope filter. Sounds like this. So you can see it immediately adds a whole lot of swag and just whoa to your playing. Um, great pedal. Moving on, classic Tube Screamer. I always use this, everything basically straight up at 12. Um, best sound out of a Tube Screamer in my opinion. Here's it clean. Now with the Tube Screamer. Just the right amount of sauce, nothing too much. It's not like taking away anything, it's just adding a little bit of soft buttercream on top. Love it. Moving on to the Eric Gale Signature Brute Drive. Um, Clean, just so we can hear it. Now with it on, here we go. It speaks for itself, really, really rad pedal. Next, one of my favorites, the Walrus Audio Julia. Beautiful vibrato chorus pedal. Um, just classic, speaks for itself. pretty sounds. I use that on a lot of records. Next up we have the Keeley Ecos. It's a beautiful delay pedal, also doubles as a looper. Um, right now I have it set up as a slapback, so let's hear that. So it does the job, it's freaking amazing. Uh, also does all that weird feedbacky stuff too that you would want a delay to do. Uh, next we have the Flint, which is a reverb and tremolo. Uh, let's hear a little reverb and a little harmonic tremolo. One of my favorite sounds, honestly. That harmonic tremolo is so beautiful. It just adds a lot of character uh, to anything that you play. Uh, now, last but not least, we have the Strymon Big Sky. We all know it, we all love it. Um, just the best reverb sounds literally ever. Um, right now I have a swell patch pulled up, so let's hear what that sounds like. I've had this pedal forever. It's the longest pedal that I've, or longest piece of gear that I've ever owned to be completely honest. Um, so really, really beautiful sounds there. So now let's check out a couple of my favorite pedal combinations. We'll start with my ambient sound since we left off on the swell function on my Big Sky. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of chorus from the Julia, a little bit of delay from my Ecos, and then I'm gonna bring in that Electro Harmonics pitchfork on and off throughout the sound so you'll hear an octave higher periodically from what I'm playing. Thank you. 
All right, next we're gonna get into my lead sound. This is gonna be my shred solo moment. Um, I'm gonna put on my Tube Screamer and the Brute Drive with the boost on, plus a little bit of added delay um, from the Ecos there. And then I'm also going to, halfway through, I'll turn on my Proton filter and maybe add in a lower octave from the Pitchfork. <laughs> So you can have a lot of fun with that sound. Um, a whole lot of room to open up. Um, I can obviously turn a little bit more reverb on to get it a little washier and really shreddy, but just so you could really hear the integrity of that fundamental tone there. Um, really great sound. Now, moving on to kind of a, I don't want to say it's a Blake Mills vibe, but it is harmonic tremolo, which is undeniably kind of a Blake Mills vibe. Um, so that's just going to be my harmonic tremolo and my tube screamer kicked on. Um, let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> That would literally have never stopped sustaining. <laughs> um, that's one of my favorite sounds. It's a really special tone. Just a whole lot of character and a lot of color comes out of that sound. Now let's go for a kind of lo-fi-ish sound. Um, I'm gonna throw some reverb as well as my Julia um, on quite high to get a little bit of a ridiculous sound out of it. Let's check that out. <laughs> Really fun sound, a little bit less usable like in a wide kind of context, but um, the next sound I'm gonna show you utilizing the Julia is just a very awesome washy chorus, huge 80s guitar sound. So I'm gonna have the Julia with the um, Tube Screamer on here and a little bit of delay added in as well. One of my favorite 80s tones there. Thank you so much for taking a quick glance at the different tones that I can get out of this pedal board. Um, I'll do a much more in-depth video kind of covering each pedal individually, getting into the bells and whistles and the tricks and all the cool little things that each and every pedal does on its own. But just wanted to share, you know, an overview of my tones with y'all. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. You'll see more of my face on your phone or your tablet or your computer. If you're taking a poop, you can watch my face while you poop. That's where I watch all my YouTube videos. So if you are pooping right now, have a great poop, um, and I'll see you next time.